We continued to negotiate with the Chiefs, but Tyreek just felt the best about the Dolphins. You know, the, the contract obviously was was superior. I can't believe I'm doing this. Let's talk about Tyreek Hill, which is what I hope will be the last time in this manner. And the main reason why this man cannot stop talking about the Chiefs and the reason why I believe he will not stop talking about them for quite some time. This is simply something that needs to be said. But first, how about those Chiefs? What's up, guys? My name is Cole, aka the No Fear Redbeard Chiefs Info Sling and Maniac, and I do daily news about the Kansas City Chiefs, so make sure to sub if you're new for the most thorough content on the platform. No cap, hit that like button if you, like me, are beyond exasperated of the Tyreek Hill drama, and let's get into this video, a video that is more than likely my very last, covering Tyreek Hill in any capacity based on the dramatic things he says or does that reflect past pains with the Kansas City Chiefs. And the reason I'm making this video is because I believe there's one main reason why Tyreek won't stop talking about his former team. And because of that reason, we simply need to accept the fact, let him jabber on and go about our very lives. I'm gonna get to that reason real soon, but first, here's a bit of context that brought up my need to circle back one last time. Fingers crossed on Tyreek, a man that I greatly admire and am very grateful for his contributions to the kingdom, to be clear, but a man that I've run out of patience with. Now, I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time here on how we got to the here and now with Tyreek because I've done enough videos on this man detailing every event reported from his agent and Tyreek leading up to the trade. I've covered his podcast episodes and broke down info on the Chiefs suppressing his stats, which we all know is not true, and later Tyreek himself said was not true. I've talked about Tyreek saying stupid things like and two is the most accurate quarterback in the league and all kinds of stuff like that in detail. And if you want more on all that, feel free to search my channel using the word Tyreek because it's all there. Trust me. So I'm not going to rehash all that, but instead I'm going to share with you what I believe is the reason why Tyreek will not stop talking about the Chiefs even after they took a chance on him initially in 2016 when they drafted him, even after they stood by him through all the off-the-field nonsense over the years, even after they offered him a pretty decent extension, just not enough money to Tyreek's liking, and even after they traded him to a location that he preferred. Even after all that, he's still going. Here's what's going on. Recently on Twitter, somebody tweeted out, Tyreek switching up still hurts, bro, to which Tyreek actually responded saying, I never switched up. They got rid of me, bro, bro. And then today... This was the final straw for me. An article dropped on Outkick.com featuring an interview of sorts with Tyreek Hill. And this is what was quoted of him saying. And a lot of guys, when they get paid, they stop wanting to get better. And I feel like when the Kansas City Chiefs traded me, I kind of took that personal. So now what really motivates me is I feel like they basically just threw me to the side like I was trash or something. I take so much pride in this game and wanting to be the best and wanting to help my team win and on and on and have as much success as I can to where I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm not gonna be another guy who gets the bag and just stops working. All right, so a couple of things here. Tyreek continues to repeat the fact that the Chiefs didn't value him, got rid of him, and now threw him aside like he was a piece of trash, but we all know that is simply not true. Listen one more time in this context to what his agent Drew Rosenhaus said shortly after the trade to Miami happened as he recapped how it went down. And remember, the Chiefs basically had an extension worked out with Tyreek until the Devontae Adams trade happened. Then Tyreek's agent circled back with the Chiefs and said, hey, you know that extension we nearly had worked out? Well, Devontae's deal changed everything. His deal is now Tyreek's floor. And this is what happened next. Uh, we started negotiating and they, they quickly saw that, um, you know, that it, for them, that that deal didn't make sense, and they communicated to us that uh, that that wasn't going to work out. So I suggested, how about we explore a trade where everybody wins? And uh, the Chiefs did give me permission to work on a trade, and uh, Miami was one of the teams that showed interest right out of the gate. We continued to negotiate with the Chiefs, but Tyreek just felt the best about the Dolphins. You know, the, the contract obviously was was superior. Um, Playing in Florida was huge because Tyreek trains in Miami in the offseason. Tyreek liked the idea of being close to his home. He lives in upstate Florida. That's why he said he's coming home. I mean, yeah. this feels like home for him. And uh, everything added up. All right, so Tyreek can continue saying what he wants about the Chiefs treating him like trash, throwing him aside, getting rid of him, etc. But uh, he was still under contract with the team. And they did not have to trade him at all. But I think Veach saw that Tyreek wanted a bag and did him a favor letting his agent seek a trade because the Chiefs were not willing to pay him this much money. I also have a suspicion now 
that if Tyreek didn't get what he wanted, he may have done something as dramatic as sitting out during the next season, though I can't confirm that. I'm just looking at the antics that have happened since the trade took place, and yeah, wow. So Veach knew the best course was to ultimately give Tyreek what he wanted and also get what they could out of him in return. Remember, the Chiefs offered him a competitive deal that would have put Tyreek in the top five to 10 wide receiver range, but Tyreek said himself that it was nowhere near enough to him, and so per his agent himself in that video we just watched, Tyreek chose the Dolphins for multiple reasons. Now, here's the point of this video. The more Tyreek says stuff like this, the more I am convinced he's simply further validating that the Chiefs made the correct decision in trading him because I believe the reason why Tyreek will not stop, will not let it go, is because he is petty. The Chiefs not offering him top dollar hurt Tyreek's ego. Yes, that is the reason behind all this. Tyreek himself said he felt like he wasn't getting the ball enough, was underutilized, and then after the season was over, felt lowballed and disrespected by the Chiefs, which ultimately hurt his pride and ego. Tyreek wants the ball. Tyreek wants to score. Tyreek wants all the money. Tyreek wants a trade. Tyreek this. Tyreek that podcast this, blah, blah, blah. Never mind the team and taking a relatively decent deal that'll still set you up for life and also keep you on a Super Bowl caliber team. I had a comment on a recent Twitter post that I think sums everything up pretty nicely. Narcissistic injury is incredibly hard for a narcissist to get over. The Chiefs let him know they didn't value him as highly as he values himself. He can't get over that. And now he has an entire fan base acting as his flying monkeys while he acts the victim. Classic. And honestly, as much as this pains me to say, I'm glad the Chiefs sent Tyreek away along with his pettiness and childish antics. I don't believe Tyreek will stop talking anytime soon. Therefore, I think it's best to leave the man be. The Chiefs drafted him, taking a chance on a man with a dark past, raised him up, and in turn, Tyreek helped the Chiefs win a Super Bowl, then got paid, securing his family for generations. And therefore, that is that, and what's done is done. And I know some of you are gonna comment on this video asking why I'm doing a video on Tyreek when he's no longer a Chief. Some of you already are over him. Some of you have been over him for a long time. I get it, and alas, I am finally there with you all. But ultimately, I still feel like this needed to be said. See what I did there? Make sure to leave a super thanks or a bearded comment to potentially be featured in an upcoming vid. Sub and like for more content like this, and then check out this video here, pew pew, which is a short clip of the Chief Safety Justin Reed leveling Tyreek out on the football field. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those? Yeah. I just want to say, I love this team, bro. I love, I love the quarterback. I love everything about this team, bro, man. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't rather have it no other way. How, how hard is it for you to leave Kansas City? And what was maybe like what you talked to uh, Pat Mahomes with, you know, kind of after everything happened? It's, just, it's tough. It's tough, man. But if somebody comes to you with a lot of money, <laughs> it, it, it changes. <laughs> it changes. The feelings start to change.